ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another vloggy vlog. How's everybody doing on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday? It's the first, or I guess second week of 2021. And I believe this might be one of the first vlogs that I record in 2021. What a beautiful thing. How was everybody's New Year's and all that? Good, 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 I hope. Mine was super low key, my New Year's. Straight up relaxing, you know? Didn't do much, didn't, uh, didn't really party too hard. It was great, it was perfect. It was perfect to be honest. And look at this mess here. I'm gonna go through, make sure there's no cars. Um, yeah, it was a super relaxing New Year's. It was exactly what I wanted, to be honest with you. So, I'm not too upset. I'm not too upset. And uh, right now, it's a little bit chilly. It's like high 30s, something like that. You know, it's like 38. And uh, this is actually my first vlog that I'm recording after riding the Street Fighter. As, as you may or may not have seen, um, I rode a Street Fighter in the last few videos. And that bike, it's freaking amazing you know like i fell in love multiple times that bike is the shit it's like you know it's super cool like it happens in all sorts of walks of life where you have this like idea of something you know like if you're like never traveled to a place or never tasted some food you're like oh i've never had sushi before and you have this idea how it's gonna be so amazing and it's not very often where the idea matches the reality, you know? The idea matches the reality. Bro. Um, anyway, so yeah, the Street Fighter, literally, it was like exactly what I thought it would be. It was uh, spot on between the power, the noise, the feeling, the sitting position, like everything. That was a great bike and it was just smooth and smooth and beautiful. And look, we got a bro over here on a little Yamaha XSR. What's going on, man? Nice. He's wearing a, he's wearing a little, uh, little trainers probably going to the gym or whatnot but anyway I was gonna start a vlog usually I start the vlog because obviously today's vlog is a gas tank question but I kind of just want to see my boys moves before I uh well he's using the ramp mount you know which is uh good for him yeah you'll see you'll see the video of my experience I don't know if you've seen it by now or you'll see it soon but I had an experience with the with the rebel fellow over here is gonna uh, get on the BQE and dip around or is he just gonna uh, take it easy no he's he's gone anywho yeah that was a that was a spicy spicy uh, adventurous rider there anywho long story short let's get to the gas tank question really quick you know because I'll talk about the Street Fighter many a times again a T H Z Z F Z A T H Z Z ask what is my favorite game and what is my favorite gas station in New York City? So I'll answer the game first. Um, you know, uh, I'm a forever because I've had every I've, I've been a gamer my whole life. So I've had every PlayStation one, two, three, and four. About to have five and. Uh, I've had uh, I had the Genesis, I had the, the Nintendo 64. Not exactly sure what this guy's doing. Look at this. That's pretty. Oh, that could have been a 
a cool thumbnail, you know, you gotta trick people into thinking I'm, it's a head-on situation, but, um, freaking, I've had all the video game systems, and I've always loved racing games, racing games are by far my favorite, if I was to pick a, one kind of game, it would be racing, uh, any sort, but cars preferably, and ever since I started riding with, uh, driving with the wheel, with the controller, wheel controller, you know, it changed everything, but racing games, let me get back to you in a second. Hi ladies and gents, we're back, we're gonna take a little back road, uh, way through Dumbo, to Dumbo. Um, anywho, so yeah, let's get back to the video game topic. So, racing games are my favorite, but if I had to call, like, what is my favorite game ever? Uh, I don't know. That would be such a tough question. Like, one of the games that I really loved and enjoyed was this game called Uncharted. Uh, I'm sure if you're a PlayStation player, you are fully aware of what Uncharted is and, uh, you know, what it stands for. And, uh, long story short, it's like basically Indiana Jones. An Indiana Jones game where the main character is uh, Nathan Drake. And I've beaten all of those games. Like, I, I mean, I love the movies, obviously, Indiana Jones, but like, when the games first came out, that kind of adventure, you know, that kind of pace really spoke to me. Really, really spoke to me. Uh, just like some light puzzle solving slash um, you know a little bit of shooting a little bit of this a little bit of that I think uh, I think it's a it's a it's a good time um, plus it, like at the time it was just beautiful you know all the big set pieces and then like locations and the story the writing everything I always talk about how Uncharted is one of my favorite games ever. You know, obviously everybody loves all the Gran Turismo's and Grand Theft Autos and other things like that. You know, Downhill Domination was my shit. But if I had to uh, pick one game that I unconditionally love, it would have to be uh, it would have to be Uncharted. I'm trying to decide if I want to turn on the heated gloves. I guess I'll turn them on to one power. Um, yeah, so Uncharted. This person is just is about to fucking run a red light. Good for them. God bless them. Nice turn signal too. Freaking Momo birds. Let's see. Besides Uncharted, you know, like right now, it's funny. Like Gran Turismo Sport. Gran Turismo is always like, because I'm actually playing Gran Turismo 6 right now. And Gran Turismo Sport. Gran Turismo 6 came out... Uh, many years ago look at this fucking idiot right here pulling into the intersection that's how you get a ticket for no reason stupid person um but yeah Gran Turismo 6 came out like seven years ago or something maybe more and we still play it regularly at Dirty Billy and then uh Gran Turismo Sport that's a whole nother animal that thing is crispy and I'm actually right now uh working on beating everything every race uh, you think I'll be able to go straight I don't think these people will be too upset so I'm polishing that whole game so that's that and I just got a PC as well so I actually just got a set of Corsa and a couple of other games so more gameplay on the horizon if you know what I'm saying and as far as gas stations the second part of the question you know that's a tough one uh, I don't need much time to answer that I like a gas station that's nearest me I'm not really uh, I don't particularly care I mean obviously I don't I'm not trying to get some sketchy shitty gas but I'm not like one of those people who are just like oh I only fill up at BP or at you know, Sonico or whatever, because I do understand that there's different qualities of gas. But at the same time, I'm just like, whatever. I do tell you one thing, though. I don't like to run out of gas, 
and as soon as my light comes on i panic and i'm just like i need gas immediately you know like that's just that's just how it is that's just that's just how i am go ahead bro you got this could technically just park right here uh no i'm gonna go this way that's fine I didn't even use my turn signal, which is upsetting to many, I'm sure. But what are you gonna do? So, I also like uh, the gas station next next to my house. You know, that's a nice one. That's always a good one. I prefer that one. What do we got here today? I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. Tuesday, 1 p.m. Well, today is Wednesday, so. So no, I don't have a favorite gas station. Just the nearest one. And as long as it's somewhat reasonably well kept. Yeah. That's it. That's about it. I'm gonna go back over here. When I use winter gloves, I tend to use my turn signals less which is uh as terrible as it sounds all right i'm just gonna park over here I'm just gonna find a good spot call it a day so i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna be here for too long so it's not really a a matter of finding long-term parking there's so many topics that i wanted to talk to you guys about but also wanted to cover this gas tank question thing so anyway there it is so and i gotta tell you one thing my bike is so much easier to park than a street fighter street fighter was a pain in the butt it was taller and heavier and not as maneuverable as this thing this thing is straight up fun anyhow I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye-bye.